Welcome. I'll be reacting to The Dark Crystal for the first time. Thank you to everyone who suggested this in the comments. I don't know anything about this other than there's a crystal, and I'm guessing it's not a light one. Remember, this is not a market substitute. Please support the original. But it's purple. They're probably referring to it being evil or something. This is very old original Trek right now. I love it. Okay, we get it, Jim. You're an overachiever. You like did everything. Yet now there are only ten. What's with the only ten? Are you like Jedi? Do you not get together? Now here I wouldn't mind living. In the valley. That's gorgeous. There is a prophecy. Of course there's a prophecy. There's always a prophecy. Jin is the chosen one. And there's a chosen one. Okay. Oh, they're so cute. If not, skates his rule forever. Well, not forever. There's only a few of them left. So technically, what, a couple more centuries? Needs to get more cardio in. The bad guys have better outfits, as always. Ooh. And the award for best death so far goes to... But they're destroying that beautiful puppet. Yeah, he's pulling an Obi-Wan. It'd be really handy to have multiple hands like that sometimes. Well, both sides have alone. nine now, and that's a much more powerful magical number, so it's interesting. I wonder if they thought that through. Gorgeous. Is this another one of those New Zealand films? Where did they shoot this? They're like Klingons. <laughs> I'm rooting for not the Chamberlain. He seems cooler. Yeah! Beat that. Chamberlain. Are they gonna banish him? And he's gonna then help our intrepid hero. The Chamberlain is banished! The prophecy says Gelfling will destroy us! The interesting thing about these sorts of prophecies is that the bad guys tend to react by saying, oh, a prophecy that that person or that group is going to destroy us. Let's go take them out first. But that's the very thing that, of course, triggers the prophecy. And if they had been kinder to that group of people, it would never have been triggered. Okay, that's cool. I want an army of these guys. These things are really awesome. I like the otherworldly touches. I mean, even the plants look out of the ordinary. If those are plants, I don't even know now. Sachi! Sachi! Very Greek mythology. She needs a new cape, poor thing. Ah, it's like the thing in Disneyland, in Tomorrowland. Whoever made all these props has an amazing imagination. is he going to try and help the kid or is he going to try and hurt him to get back in with his people I feel like all of these mystics are about to die <laughs> wow just the sheer number of fantastical creatures in this is amazing You could have a whole botanical garden, it's just dark crystal themed. But what do I do with it? Put it Why back in it? the crystal. <sighs> oh. 
I think it's gonna be a friend. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Yeah, she's here to help. She can figure the crystal out. Move. Where would I go? Yeah, listen to Mini Chewbacca. Oh, Mini Chewie. <laughs> I like how they each have their own type of salad that are slightly different. Hmm, a beak washing bowl. Very smart, actually. Yeah, they're Klingons. Confirmed. Is she still alive? I thought for sure they'd kill her. Crystal bats fly! Search the land! Search the water! Search the sky! Bats are just super cute in real life though. I don't know why they always have them as the evil characters. Ah, mini Chewie! <laughs> Chewie hears something. You might want to put your cape and hood back on. Okay, the party is now officially started. Okay, this band is lit. Oh, come on. Just, they don't appreciate good music. Not Mini Chewy. I want a Mini Chewy plushie so badly right now. Because he is helping him. I wish I'd never heard of this shard. No, no, Make it better. It doesn't matter. You need to go sing or something and glow the shard and get the shard back. I don't think anywhere is safe anymore. Chewie, can you go get the shard, please? You just you're just gonna leave it there on the stone. Shard. Thank you, Kira. I love all the lore going on in this. What's writing? Words that stay. My master told me. I like that there's things he can do that she can't do, and there's things that she can do but he can't do, and they complement each other. And I think that's fantastic. So they both have to rely on each other as a team. Show them Gelfling will not harm us. Please, please. He just wants to walk in with them so that he's accepted again. No, no, Fizzgig. You stay here. Dole. Oh, all right. He's so cute. And now the beam will rid you of your fears, your thoughts, your vital essence. <laughs> yeah, you get him, Chewie. Hang on. She has wings? It won't take them long to figure out which entrance you use, so you might want to hurry a little bit faster. Come on, Chewie! My hand. My hand. Oh, they're connected. Jin? You got this, Chewie. Just keep moving rocks. Whew. Yeah. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. One of them's gonna die, though. Are the mystics going to have to kind of combine with their other selves? when the crystal is put back together, like into single being. Okay, well, don't just stand there. Let's put the shard in and start singing at it. Or flute playing. Look, they're not very fast. You could probably run up, put the shard in and get out before they've like taken 10 steps. I'm just saying. Yes! Mini Chewie, go do a distraction. While they're chasing her, you can go deal with the crystal. 
I love these two, but they're terrible adventurers. They just roll ones. Just all ones. Stealth check. One. Strength check. One. Agility check. One. Mini Chewy! Mini Chewy! Kira, just throw it to Jen. Throw it to Jen, he'll get it in there. Thank you! Kira! Oh no! Maybe the crystal can heal her. What if the crystal is damaged again by all this? Are they gonna combine the beings now? Your courage and sacrifice have made us whole. Okay, so can you help Kira though? That was an amazing movie. The sheer level of detail in every single scene was just mind-blowing. Every plant, every rock was carefully positioned. They moved, they talked, they were unique. This is like if they had given original Trek an unlimited budget and just said, run with it. The puppets were beautifully rendered, not distracting at all whatsoever, and way easier to connect with than CGI, at least for me. And they weren't weird, creepy puppets like Labyrinth. Although the story itself was just super cliche, <laughs> I didn't really mind because the world building was spectacular. Loved all the characters, Jen and Kira, each having their own backstory. I can't remember Minnie Chewie's name. It's like Fezzy something. I kept thinking of Fezziwig for some reason, and I know that's not right. <laughs> so cute. Like, not Baby Yoda level cute, but pretty close. Like, it's up there with Grogu. If they could just make a movie with Grogu and Mini Chewy in this one, my heart would just explode with just cuteness. <laughs> and they could get Baby Groot in there. Somebody please make that happen. For those of you that saw my legend review, you noticed that I was not happy with the music. In this one, they got it right. This is the score I would have wanted for legend. Epic, beautifully done, matches the visuals. Dark Crystal, it just ticks all the boxes for me. And as frustrating as it was to have the two protagonists just so inept, I mean, it's accurate. They're just teenagers that didn't know what they were doing. So I, I just loved this one. It was great. And I think there's some kind of a reboot or sequel, I don't know what, on Netflix I saw listed. So maybe I'll check that out. Is it worth watching? Those of you who have seen original Dark Crystal and the new one on Netflix, is it any good? Thank you again to everyone who recommended this. You were 100% right. This is an amazing film.